Today we're going to install the Robot Operating Center. We're installing this on a Jetson TK1. So the first thing we're going to do is install ROS. There's two sets of software for the Jetson bot. There's one that runs on the actual Jetson bot itself. And then there's what is called the Robot Operating Center. The Robot Operating Center is used to communicate with the Jetson bot on another PC or in this case, a Jetson TK-1. After installing ROS, we're going to install the Jetson Bot software. The Jetson Bot software is the same on both the robot and the rock. The configuration is a little bit different at the end. So we download the repository for install JetsonBot, switch over that directory. We create a Kafkin workspace for the JetsonBot. Then we download the packages and repositories and build them. Oh boy. This is basically the TurtleBot packages. You see that we ran out of memory while we were building this. But that's okay, we can just run the script again and it will fix it. Then to set up the Robot Operating Center software, run this quick script. The script sets up the environment variables for the Jetson bot configuration and some other configuration things that we need like the IP address of the Jetson bot and of this computer. Go down and fix up the environment variables ROS master URI and ROS IP to the Jetson bot IP address and this computer's IP address. Make sure you save it. Unset GTK IM module is used only on the Jetson, so if you're running this on a PC, comment that out. Then you have to resource it, which basically says read the bash rc file back into this terminal. So let's take Arviz out for a spin. We're going to start up the Jetson bot, make sure the Jetson bot is on and the create base is on also. In the installed JetsonBot repository, there's a file called alias shortcuts, which are some useful things. If you put those in the bash rc file, you can actually type in the alias and it will, it's kind of like a macro, it will expand the command. So we're going to launch the ROS on the JetsonBot and then we're going to start up a 3D sensor. And then here on The Rock, we're going to start up our viz. First, we'll start up the dashboard for the Jetson bot. The dashboard tells us a little bit about the status of the different sensors and things on board. the messages and some of the status of the Jetson bot from the dashboard. If you hit these three little lightning strikes, it basically starts up the Jetson bot. You can 
details to see the status of the Create 2 base battery. In this example, the Jetson bus sitting on the table has suspended, so that's why you get some sensor errors. Well, you can see that the cliff sensors have some issues. There is no gyro sensor hooked up yet, so that's why that's a no-go. Let's start up our biz. We run this on the actual rock itself. So here's our biz. Basically, we're going to turn on the image from the camera on the Jetson bot. There is a <laughs> horrible model of the Jetson bot. We'll fix that as time goes on. Let's take a look at the depth cloud. This is the color coded version of the RGBD image. This is registered with the actual image. The Jetson bot's sitting on the table, so that's why the image is so high up in the air. This is with a point cloud versus a depth cloud. That's using Point Cloud Library. There's currently an issue on the Jetson running Arviz. If you open up the image window, and this is from the camera on the Jetson bot and try to resize that pane, then it basically crashes or freezes. Thanks for watching.